Hi there, and welcome back to the wonderful world of model horse judging and showing. This is a fun week. We have the same draft stone drafters as last week, but this week we're going to be judging them based on collectability. So again, it's uh, the, the class is officially European UK drafters, Peter Stone original finish. Judge it on collectability, which is rarity, age, condition, desirability, and overall impression. And what do you say? Peter Stone horses. They're all beautiful, well-sculpted horses. So, and they're all fairly similar in age range. They were only started in about 1996. Um, they're all pretty rare. Stone doesn't do um, large runs of horses. So what are you gonna do as a judge? Well, you're gonna apply your knowledge and documentation to judge the horses based on the criteria that you've got. So let's get going. Our first place horse is this wonderful standing drafter. This is the Artisan's Hall, one of the few that has no name. Um, it's the very first Artisan's Hall horse and a dappled chestnut by Sarah McKevich back in 1998. They were originally issued, I think there was like 120-ish and popularity was so high, they made another run of about 88. So this particular horse is marked number six of 88. Um, and highly desirable. These guys are hand painted by the artist, Sarah McKevich, who is highly talented in a beautiful dappled shaded chestnut. Um, she actually knocks it out of the ballpark. He is luminous color, absolutely wonderful shading. Um, really detailed dappling. I mean, to do this amount of intricate work on an original Finnish horse of any kind is pretty uncommon. He was the first artisan's hall horse, so he's right in that age range, fairly rare, he's in good condition, and the desirability factor is pretty much out of the ballpark. So um, he's a pretty solid first place horse, but his second place horse this horse's name, and I can't pronounce it, I'm terrible with that, is maybe Injemai, I-N-G-E-M-A-I. He was produced in 2005. He was released at the North American Model Horse Show that year, and they only made 30 of them. This guy is mark number 12 of 30. He was fairly early in the customizing craze where they took and gave him a loose mane and a loose swept tail and then did this really nice, intricate, um, spotted Appaloosa pattern on him. So, why does he play second? Again, it's the name of the artist of the first place horse. And, and that first Artisan's Hall horse cachet that kind of bumps this one up in the placings. Um, so this guy's, again, a pretty solid contender, only 30 made. Could go back and forth, but in my opinion, um, I place him second. Um, again, that uh, customization, the mane and tail customization that was done on him is very cool, um, appropriate to him. The color is beautiful and nicely applied. I just prefer that first place Artisan's Hall horse. So, judge's opinion. Now, our second and third place horses are a pretty tight pair. They are both regular runs. I placed this trotting white or cream drafter um, third place. His name is Forrester. He was a regular run from 2000. And his mate back here is also a regular run from 2000 named Snelson Noah. So the reason that this guy placed third, um, I just prefer the paintwork on him. He is nicely shaded. His um, paint is applied very smoothly and well. His bobs on his mane and tail are nicely painted. Altogether, he's a very attractive looking horse and very professional and nice. My fourth place horse, I believe, is a pretty solid fourth placer. Even though he placed first in the breed class, that paint application on him, the white, is just not done as nicely. It's just kind of blopped on there. There's no shading. Um, very sloppy and heavy. There's no shading within the white. It's just white paint on top of the horse. 
And so he's just not as attractive as my third place horse. And when you're talking collectability and you've got two fairly solid um, common regular runs, those are the little details that are going to set them apart. That condition, desirability, and overall impression. He just isn't as nice a horse as the previous one. So it was a fairly solid class. Um, hope you enjoyed that. That is their collectability placings. And so join me next week and we'll see what I decide to come up with for more education on model horse showing. Thank you for joining.